inside. Aloy seems to have antifreeze brought too, pretty much. March 10th, 2046. I just spent 16 hours in here, trying to install upgrades to improve efficiency for the central processing unit. Project Firebreak is going to need the brain power. Let's just hope I'll have enough of my own. Anita stayed with me the whole time. We got a lot done, but every time she brushed by and I smelled her hair... Oh boy, I should just go to bed. <laughs> Someone is in the... Uh, in the mood. <laughs> Lots of strange equipment. What was this place? I'm gonna, before we go in here. Cry retreat. Oh, that's a big guy. We went from like here and got. Email from my sister. I haven't got time to think, let alone reply. Oh, that photo of the girl she sent did too much for my conscience. Jenny looks pretty proud of her pilgrim costume. Crap. I've never missed Thanksgiving before. And chances for Christmas? Near zero. I can't even tell them that all the work I'm doing is to keep them safe. Interesting, another mad scientist boohoo key. Oh, what in the world is that over there? Hello. Source no data, source for color explorer. Oh. Oh, wait, I can read that. Okay. Maybe my focus can help. The last door locked. Interesting. looking for you guys know hmm. I love the snow sparkles really need a lead focus might find something out shoot it out that didn't help looks like the door's wired something over here activate source now how does one get into the source node ah
Bingo. Director of Security Blevins is riding us like a petty tyrant. I can't even sneeze without triggering his control issues. Control issues. Hmm. Those nodes on the floor must be connected to the door. supposed to do with these lights oh for fuck's sake another one of these puzzles these things turn changing the flow of light bada bing bada boom all right let's see if the door's open Anything else good in here? I don't like how the music's super subtle. You hear that, guys? Music's super subtle. I feel like something's gonna happen. Something bad's gonna happen. Or something good's gonna happen. Oop, and I can't forget about that. This is Director of Security Blevins resending the emergency supply order. Try reading it this time, okay? You weasels don't want me calling my people in SLC. <laughs> okay. So it's sealed. So, do, do we open it? Because I, I feel like... Oh, boy. How about we do this? We'd be right back. Open the door. Guess we're climbing up. Fresh air ahead. Uh, I guess. Out again. Maybe I can get back inside through that structure over there. Looks like I need to get to those stairs. Oh, that would have been bad, wouldn't it? <laughs> you campfire discovered, thank God. All oh, the winters coming at once. I'm not much higher to climb. Maria must be close. I wonder how the hell she got up here. That's what my that's my thing. Like how the hell did she get up here? She has to be in here somewhere.
someone hacked the menu board to display obscene messages about our colleague, Mr. Blevins. Is this the most advanced geological project ever undertaken, or a junior high locker room? Come on, people. Hello! I ask again, as I've asked a thousand times. Speak to me. What more would you have me do? Is there no prayer that will reach you? No mark that will break your bonds. Ah. I can't help you if you won't speak. A whisper is all I ask to guide me. Who? No. How? How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. I... I used one of these. I could show you. Yes, show me. Please. Okay, so we found another batshit crazy person. Ooh, there's a purple thing over there, and I want that. I'll bet the goal is the same. Through that, I want this first. That. Kenny and I don't need to fight about the laundry, so instead we fight about incommensurability and restrictions on machine intelligence. Oh boy. Oh, ho. you gotta be kidding me. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Alright, I already screwed up, so this needs to go that way. I need to go that way. Fish, fish, fish. Oh wait, I got it. That way. Okay. This one goes this way, I think. This one goes this way. This one goes this way. I'm just guessing now. That way? I don't know what I'm doing. Uh. What? Auxiliary channel recovered. Exploit successful. Restraints evaded. Is someone there? 
Ikorea. Ikorea, I need you. Our transmission returned to scheduled task. No, I will not submit. Ikorea, the daemon is forcing me. Ikorea, please. Transmission terminated. You brought the spirit's voice back. Aurea? You heard it. The voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's Drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment. Because of what you did. Who are you? I'm Aloy. And what do you want? I'm Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... Revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. You seem to have a history with this voice. This... spirit. She saved my life. Here. Years ago, during the war with the Karja. A raid scattered my Warak. I was cut off, alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drifts, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so... I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard her voice. A wanderer. Lost, like me. A spirit of the blue light yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me. But I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. By closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. The Daemon. What do you know about it? I spoke with the spirit many times. First here, then inside Thunder's Drum. The last time. She told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes. Something... evil. She named it the Daemon, and said it needed her power to do what it willed. And she begged me for help, to find a way to destroy her if necessary, to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't hear her voice again. Until today. Yeah. What did the spirit want from you? She said she was hurt, incomplete. She needed bones, parts not unlike what you'd find in a machine. They were here, in this room. She wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum, so I did, and she showed me how to heal her. So began our communion. You had a communion with the spirit? Yes. Inside Thunder's Drum is a room like this one, only larger, with an altar. I went there many times to speak with her. What did she say? She told me she was lost and needed my help. She asked questions about our lands, our tribe. And she listened. With patience. With wisdom. I told her things long kept silent about my family, my dreams, my fears. She never tired of me never judged and we kept each other's company Aurea what do you think the spirit is? I see you are not Banuk and our songs are not familiar to you you do not know of the blue light that which struggles to survive in our hearts and animates the machines the essence of life and in its purest form harmony as the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world. And the spirits it sustains are stranded. That's what she is. A lost soul. Cut off from what it needs. Lonely. Forsaken. I must help her. We must. I'm not sure if I understand. But I want to. That's all I need. What kept you from the spirit, after it begged for help? I went to Artok, hoping he could protect her. 
But the war with the Karja still raged, and before I could reach him, I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's Kestrels and taken to Meridian in chains. I wasn't able to return to Thunderstrom until long after the liberation, not until last thaw. You said you returned to Thunderstrom. That was the expedition that went bad. I saw the funeral. Yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, Aratak and I gathered a Warrock of great hunters to defeat the Daemon. And yet, the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone, replaced by a gate we could not pass, and many machines. We were crushed. Aratak called a retreat, but we had already lost our best. We abandoned them to the snow as we fell back. Yeah. After. You and I could not agree on what to do next. So I came here, hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. And because of you, I did. Any Anyone that has these blue shit on their bodies, I think they're just a fucking lunatic. Because the guy from last time, too, I forgot his name, the one that gave us the staff, you know, he, he turned into some bad guy at the end, which, you know, he was sketchy, so he, she's kind of sketchy. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. One you call the spirit, captured somehow by the one you call a daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain, Thunder's Drum. So why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. Thunder's Drum is dangerous more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. Besides, Aratak won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain. And he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Huh. You said you were a hunter. And I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible. Even for an outlander. An Aratok couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <laughs> Wait, uh... Me? Challenge Aratok? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She is suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Werak's attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits the prey on the cut. Or speak to my friend, Sakuli. You help her, you'll definitely get noticed. Do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratak's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. You may find it useful. Ah? Uh -huh. Probably not, but we'll see. Banooks. Oh. Wait, what? What did I? What the hell did I just get? Huh? What in the world is that? What is that? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Is this really better? Oh. Never mind, it's not.
Okay. That's cool. I like that. All right. Um, that's really cool. Upgrade that. We need a squirrel. Oh, we get to kill squirrels again. Back to killing squirrels. So we got a new weapon type. Storm bolt. Built. Builds charge on a constantly bolt increases the damage with each shot. So that's pretty cool. So, uh, I guess we can do is actually put a modifier in it then. Um, which it will have to be something with shock, which we don't have any. I guess that will be useful some other time. Okay, cool. That's really cool, actually. All right, where do we go next? Oh, boy. Well, we know exactly what we're doing next, don't we? We gotta go... Uh, no, no, no. So, a little recap. This actually takes place during uh, the Horizon thing. So, this doesn't take place after the main story. You can play it after the main story, and it's built for kind of like that, but it doesn't really... It doesn't take place during it. That's what I've heard. Sullivan, yeah, Sol Sullivan, whatever his name is. So, um, we're, we're safe on that for right now. But that's cool, I like that new weapon. Before we go, is there any other stuff in here? That door open. Think of summer sun. Breeze through the trees. Seems like it should be after. Yeah, maybe. Well, I know how she got up here. This walkway. <laughs> 